The Anti-Guide Rating System, or the ERS, is a national program that's run by Natural Resources Canada. This is a Canada-wide program to track the energy usage and measure the energy usage of residential dwellings across Canada. The current system of the ERS is called version 15. And the big difference between the current version and the previous version is the fact that we now measure the energy usage of a home in what is called gigajoules of energy. Gigajoules of energy are a unique unit in that we can translate units of hydro being used or units of natural gas being used into gigajoules and then show the overall energy usage of that home. The Energuide rating scale starts at zero, which would be a net zero home. And a net zero home is a home that produces as much energy as it consumes, whether it be through solar panels or wind generation. Homes that consume more gigajoules of energy, let's take the average home that is being currently built, which would use approximately 80 gigajoules of energy annually. Some of the older homes, the existing homes here, can use up as much as 150 gigajoules of energy. The whole idea of having this EnerGuide rating done on your home is to find out exactly what it is you're consuming from the grid, whether it's electrical or whether it's propane, whether it's natural gas, any of the energy formats that you are using or consuming with your home. The EnerGuide rating system is designed to show you where you sit and more importantly, what you can do to make it better. So for every home that we do an EnerGuide rating on, there is a label to show exactly where that house is at. And those labels are generally affixed on or beside the electrical panels of a home. Well, the homeowner report is the final findings of the licensed energy advisor that comes into your home to actually test the home. Part of the testing would naturally be an air tightness testing. They also take into account the efficiencies of the HVAC equipment, the hot water heater, the furnace. They look at the wall assemblies and the structure itself to determine the thermal levels in the wall itself, how much insulation is in the attic, is there any insulation in the basement. All of these factors, looking at the house as a system, are taken into consideration and presented in the homeowner report. Following the homeowner report, there is a homeowner renovation upgrade report. In this report, licensed energy advisors can recommend some of the steps for the upgrades that may be on the minds of the homeowners having the test done. The benefits of having the energy advisor there and helping you through this renovation upgrade report is the fact that they not only work at what renovations you're thinking of doing, but they can recommend some of the other things that you might not have thought of doing. And the beauty of that is that they can show you in that report the exact energy savings that you can realize by having those upgrades performed. So whether you own a new home or live in an existing home, an EnerGuide rating is helpful to all of these. Whether you're looking to do renovations on your existing home or whether you're looking to find out what the annual energy usage of your new home is going to be, an EnerGuide report is helpful for all homeowners. So if you would like to have an energy assessment on your home, whether it is a new home or an existing home, please visit Barrier Sciences Group at www.barriersciences.com.